Hi and welcome to today's review. Today I'm looking at a product from Tiltwell. It is the Ink Saver thingy as it's called here. Now I'm shooting this particular part of the video before I have had a chance to use it and I have reasons for doing so that I will explain later. Um, so this hasn't been used yet, this is just the introduction. So this is made by Tiltwell which is owned by Bob. He, uh, in, you know, he runs an Etsy store which is linked down below. This is the ink saver, it's designed to be have three uses as a pen stand. Putting the pen in there. As an ink sample stand to allow for easy filling. Or as a way to save your ink when you're running low from the bottle. So you can pour the ink in, but it will fill your pen directly in there. And then when you're done, tip it back into the bottle. So as I said, they're sold on Etsy. They're 3D printed uh, and sold out of the USA. So here is the introduction. Uh, you can see it here, pristine, unused, uh, in all its glory. Nice blue material, plastic, which uh, sort of I'll go into more information in in the full review, which happens right now. Okay, so let's start this review. Um, I filmed the previous bit earlier before I used it because I had some fears, and uh, those fears have come true. There is uh, staining and stuff like that. So I wanted to show it in sort of pristine condition before I uh, had used it for a while. And I've been using this for a couple of weeks in multiple different uses. I'm going to show some of those uses now. But a quick overview first. Basically, this is the ink, well, the ink thingy. This has a, a multitude of uses. Um, it can be an ink stand for a sample vial, uh, giving it stability on the table. It is very light, so it does move around, so you just have to keep that in consideration. It's one of those things where if you're using one of these Dymine 30ml bottles and hard to fill from, you can pour the ink in there, fill it up, and then pour it back in uh, when you're done. So that's always very handy. Uh, I also have been using this as a glass pen uh, dip uh, well, so I've poured ink into there. It's a bit more stable than a lot of bottles, and I'm able to just dip it and write um, as I go. So there are these many uses for this, uh, and I think that's really, really wonderful. As I said, a pen stand, so you can sort of just store a pen uh, in there as well if you desire. Um, you know, sort of stand the pen in the in the inkwell and have it on your desk if that fits your aesthetic desire. The main thing I'm covering today is its use uh, as an uh, is it, uh, I should once again continue going over the product. 3D printed, made of plastic, and you can see the lines of that 3D printing. It's got a nice sort of spout there so that uh, when you are putting the ink back in, recanting <laughs> ink uh, uh, into a bottle, you know, you're not going to get too much mess. It does wash relatively well, as, as you can see, so there is some staining of the plastic uh, and uh, some seepage through there uh, where I've had ink in there for. You know, a couple of minutes at, a, at one point, I think it was Noodler's Heart of Darkness by the look of it, uh, it has sort of come through. Um, but yes, made by Bob at Tiltwell. Uh, so let's see uh, it in action. There's not really a lot else to it. You've got this little sort of um, ink well there. It's a conical base, which you can't really, really see in this uh, video. Uh, but yeah, it's a decent size, fits a sample vial perfectly. It does the job it's designed to do. And what is that job? Well, okay. So as I said, the big one for me is holding an ink sample vial. I do this a lot. I use ink samples. This allows you to uh, have a bit of stability on it to fill from the vial uh, without worrying about tipping it over and allows you to use two hands to fill the pen. It's really handy as a way of getting ink. So these sample vials, you can't fill every pen from them. Uh, you can't get down to the bottom or they're not quite wide enough but you can do most pens a vial like this which you get occasionally you cannot fill from that so being able to pour that into there and then fill a pen using that ink uh, is wonderful or of course the other option is pouring ink from a vial like this a, a bottle like this into there and using it there are a couple of other products now there are a multitude of uh you know traveling inkwell sort of style things that allow you to fill get using more of your ink um, i use these not only just for traveling but for sample vials so i'll pour a sample vial into the visconti inkwell put the pen in fill it where it completely soaks the nib 
uh, down to the, the feet, the you know, breather hole. So those sorts of things are really handy. There is also the ink miser cup, which allows you to pull the sample in. It's got that, once again, that conical base. Like I'll just use this Jinhao here as an example again. So you can get um, the pen down quite deep. And as long as you're covering up to there, you're going to be able to get a fill. Um, and that has been, so very light on the table. Um, that has its own base, so it's freestanding as well. Very handy. Um, in terms of holding an ink sample vial, another thing I've been using is this. Now, this is a toothbrush holder from Ikea. Uh, this costs $5, oh, not Ikea, sorry, Muji. It costs $5 in um, Australia, and it's just a porcelain uh, ceramic ring. And you can put an ink sample vial in there. It's not perfect, there's a little bit of movement in it, but it holds it perfectly, uh, allows you to do everything that the... Uh, ink thingy does except the ink thingy has all of those functions in one which makes it very very handy but for me also i think the the great use of this and what i'm going to show you now is with these things like these diamine 30 mil bottles the same would go for so those little jacoban bottles or any bottle that's sort of hard to fill from because the issue with this bottle is that the neck is very narrow so you can't not all pens are going to fit in there and once you've uh once you empty the bottle past a certain point, it's actually really hard to fill from. So what you can do is you can decant, you know, an amount of the ink from the bottle into the ink thing here. Now I have, you know, a reasonable amount. And uh, here I have just a, another Jinhao pen, the 992. Um, and I put that in there as you would any Um, ink bottle or ink well and you can get your fill nice easy clean fill and then as you can see there's still a lot of ink left in here so this is really easy using that spout there just to pour it back into the bottle now of course there are going to be a few drops left behind so you're not going to get every drop but you are able to get a lot more back than you would um, otherwise and you've been able to get a decent fill on a pen and as you can see like quite a decent fill there in the converter uh, and without having to sort of you know muck around with those smaller bottles too much so it is a handy item to use from many perspectives you can see like a lot of that staining that you can see there will wash off uh, as you'll see I'll, I'll wash it before I do the end of the video um, but yeah so this is the Tiltwell ink thingy. It has its multiple uses. It's a practical product. And uh, let's talk about some pros and cons. So this was the Tiltwell uh, ink thingy. Um, a really useful product. I don't think necessarily, I think that there are a few sort of uh, uh, developments that the product could undergo. Um, so let's just talk a couple of pros and cons. Firstly, cons, the finishing. Um, it's not exactly uh, smooth uh, and it sort of has a bit of a, um, yeah, just an unfinished feeling about it. Uh, and when you're paying, you know, uh, not not insignificant you know, amount of money uh, for something like this, I think you expect um, some of that finishing to be a little bit more finished. Uh, another big issue is the staining. Um, I mentioned this earlier, but uh, you can see like even through the, the stripes of the uh, 3D printing, there's some sort of seeping of the ink, uh, but it just in general, there's like staining uh, of it and it gets in, that, in the lines of it there. Um, but I do think the pros outweigh the cons on this. Um, or another sort of con is basically it's not like this is just a utilitarian product. It is designed for use. You know, it's it's function over form. Uh, so it isn't the most beautiful product. I'm not saying this wouldn't appeal to people on an aesthetic level, but in general, I think this is probably more designed for use than presentation, if you will. But as I said, the pros outweigh the cons. The the multi-uses of this, I think, are great. Um, being able to use it as a little sort of ink ink well, uh, being able to use it uh, as a stand for your samples, a stand for a pen if you desired, um, and to also use it to sort of get 
ink from a bottle so that you can actually fill your pens with a bit more ease and comfort. I think that's wonderful. Uh, and as I said, they're available on Etsy, ship worldwide. The shipping can be a little bit prohibitive, but uh, you know, it's, I think you're, you're sort of, um, you're getting a product here that uh, is very useful and does the job it's designed to do. So in my book, that's a win. So this was the Tiltwell ink thingy um, and uh, 3D printed by Bob there, uh, being sold on his Etsy store. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button. And if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce, please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me in any of my videos here. Uh, you can drop me an email, which is listed down below. Uh, if you've got a product you think I should be looking at or a way you'd like to support the channel, either by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, uh, you can feel free to get in touch. And, uh, in the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy all the associated accessories, and I'll talk to you later.